My name is Chris Dolan with Marina Electrical Equipment, and I'm the sales and customer relations manager of our plant based at Williamsburg, Virginia. Today, I'm here to talk about one of our products, our retro safe ground fault protection devices. The 2020 National Electric Code requires that you have 30 milliamps of ground fault protection at the slip where you plug your boat in. It's very difficult to accomplish with existing power pedestals and other items that you, you would typically see in a marina. What we've done is made a retro safe kit that can be put into a power pedestal retroactively to meet all of the 2020 National Electric Codes. Ground fault circuit breakers are out there and will meet the, the national codes, but they are very expensive and often difficult to find, and most boaters do not like using them. So what we've done is try to simplify the system and make it effective and cost effective for not only the marina, but also provide peace of mind and a safe environment for boaters to plug into. Now let's take a look at some of the features of the retro safe ground fault protection devices. We'd like to remind everyone that as with all electrical work, all installations and operations should be performed by a licensed electrician. Now let's take a look at a few of the features of the retro safe ground fault protection device. The assembly comes with a ground fault monitor that's tied to a series of shunt trip breakers. This allows the system to operate exactly like a ground fault circuit breaker, only with the added benefits of being able to use cord sets and splitters, which a regular ground fault circuit breaker will not allow you to do. Also, if one circuit breaker trips, it turns off all power to the vessel. Every circuit breaker is tied to that one ground fault monitor for all systems to be turned off if there is an issue with your, your system. Not only is this designed for marina electrical equipment devices, it can also be installed in pedestals provided by competitors. All we need to know is who the make and model is of your power pedestal and we can design a kit to fit directly into your existing power unit. Before we take a look at how to do the installation for the Retro Safe Ground Fault Safety Panel, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need to do our installation. First, we'll need a drill with a Phillips head bit, a 9 16 socket wrench, as well as it never hurts to have a couple of extra screwdrivers to make sure that we get all of the screws and nuts and bolts back where they belong on the power pedestal. First thing we're going to do is access the bus bar by removing the outer screws about halfway up on the housing. After we've done that, we actually have the ability to tilt the unit over and access all of the electrical connections. Next, what we wanna do is remove the existing plate. So by opening up the door and removing the screws on both the receptacle plate as well as the breaker plate, we can remove and pull out the entire electrical assembly. This will allow us to pull this out and put the new one in. Now that we've gotten the old plate out, let's take a look at the electrical connections on the other side of the power pedestal. So let's access the bus bar assembly and remove those electrical wires so we can get our new plate installed. Again, we loosened up the housing by removing the screws on the outside. Do not remove the screws on the inside. That's actually what connects the top portion of the base to the hinge. So when we remove the outside, we have access to all of our electrical components. Now what we're going to do now is loosen all of the 9 16 bolts and remove all of the washers that are inside of the power pedestal. By doing that, we can now remove the wires from their connection points. So what we'll do is pop the washers out Make sure you don't throw these away. We're going to reuse these. And pull off the terminations. Each one will allow us complete access to be able to remove all of these plates. Once that's done, we can take a look at doing the full installation. Again, make sure you hold on to this hardware and don't drop it in the water. We get a lot of people who call us about stuff that goes overboard. So make sure you're holding on to these pretty tight. Once all the wires have come off, we can go back around to the front and go ahead and remove the existing plate completely. And we'll start our installation of our new retro safe ground fault protection plate. Now that we've removed all of the electrical connections and all the wires from the termination block, 
the existing plate will just fall right out. So now we've gotten this one taken out, let's take a look at how to install the new plate. First thing we're going to do is connect all of the wires back to the bus bar assembly. Again, we're going to group all of our colors together, so all of the blacks will be together, all of the reds will be together, all of the whites and all of the greens. If we tilt the unit over, push the plate assembly to the front of the power pedestal, and we're going to pull all of the wires back through the door and into the main body. Now that we've pulled all the wires through, again, we'll land all of our similar colors onto the same bus bar. So we'll get, again, all of our black wires for line one, all of our white wires for our neutral, our red wires for line two, and our greens for our ground. Now that we've grouped all of our wires back onto the bus bar assembly, we're going to go ahead and take the existing hardware that we've held onto and we're going to reattach these all to the bus bar. Again, make sure that all your lines are back onto the uh, bus bar and they're all terminated properly. We'll go ahead and use our washers and our uh, 916s nuts, install these back on, and then we'll take a look at a few different tests we can do once we get onto the other side and take a look at some hardware and some other items that we just need to check before we turn the power back on. All right. Now that all our wires have been re-terminated, we can go ahead and shut the top portion of the pedestal. We'll go ahead and get that dropped on. We'll take the hardware that we had from earlier. We'll reinstall that. Now that we've finished up on the other side of the pedestal, re-securing all of our wires and cables, we're gonna get back onto the front side of the pedestal here and work on our final installation of our RetroSafe ground fault protection plate. Now, this is one thing we need to be very careful about is when we roll the receptacle assembly and breaker assembly back into the power pedestal, we wanna make sure that we don't pinch any of these wires. This can cause a serious safety hazard. So just be very cautious about making sure that when you lift this plate back up, we're not pinching any cables where we could potentially cut something and cause an issue. Once the plate is back into its location, we're gonna use, again, our existing hardware to reattach the receptacle portion and the breaker portion. Also, don't forget to reinstall your main housing screws to finish up. Now that we've gotten the installation complete, we're gonna take a look at a few different tests to see if A, our installation's done properly, and B, is there a ground fault on my uh, marina system. Now that we've gotten our RetroSafe ground fault plate installed, let's take a look at how to operate. First, we're gonna turn on all power. So all the circuit breakers will go on. Once that happens, you'll see a power light that'll come on on the monitor. To test this monitor, you're gonna hold the reset test button for three seconds. All of these circuit breakers, if the installation's done properly, should all turn off. If they don't, you need to take a look at the installation and make any adjustments. In closing, let's take a look at what we did today. We learned about the Marina electrical equipment retro safe ground fault protection plates and how putting those into an existing installation will help you meet all of your 2020 national electrical code needs if you need any help with any of this as far as installation or understanding the features and benefits of the retro safe ground fault plates please contact marina electrical equipment at 855-258-3939 we're happy to help thank you very much